Welcome everyone, I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of The Playbook, and now that all of the film has been watched and all of the grades are in, it's time for the FBGP Scouting NFL Draft Prospect Preview presented by Crossover. Before we get started with our rankings, here's how we gather our grades and what they actually mean. First, we watch a minimum of three full games on a prospect, his best game, his worst game, and the best possible matchup. And second, we grade on 15 key points specific to the position to equal 100 points in total. Now here's what the grades you'll see by a prospect name will actually mean. Prospects that have earned grades in the 90s graded out as potential future NFL All-Pros. Prospects in the 80s are considered future Pro Bowl players. Grades in the 70s represent solid NFL starters. And grades in the 60s are players that we believe are spot starters or situational starters in the NFL. And if you notice, we don't use the word reserve or backup because we personally feel as though there's no such thing as backups in the NFL, only starters in waiting. So without further ado, let's kick off our rankings by taking a look at our top 10. Corey Davis grades out as football game plan scouting's number one Z receiver or flanker. Davis is a 6'3", 215-pound Brandon Marshall clone. In my opinion, he excels in the short to intermediate game and is a type of dynamic receiver that can create his own shot. So for a taller guy, he has exceptional footwork and quickness with the burst to make things happen after the catch. Now, he's not necessarily a deep threat per se. He can definitely own the intermediate passing game, which also being very, while also being very viable inside the red zone because of his ability to win above the rim. Davis was as consistent as they come at Western Michigan. Defenses knew he was the number one option and he was able to produce at a high level, especially when the Broncos needed a big play in any ball game. D.D. Westbrook out of Oklahoma is one of my favorite wide receivers in this year's draft class. There's a reason why he was a Heisman Trophy finalist this season. He's extremely quick off the ball, and that allows him the opportunity to dictate the terms within his route running. Defenders are trying not to get beat deep, and they'll turn and bail, and then boom, Westbrook is able to snap off his route and find himself open. He's actually able to play the X, the Z, and inside as a slot, in my opinion. He has the football IQ and the route savvy to get the job done. He also does a fabulous job of exploding in and out of his cuts, which helps him create separation deeper down the field. Looking at the rest of our top 10, Taewon Taylor of Western Kentucky also fits the mold of your dynamic flanker in the NFL. His route running is very impressive. He can stop on a dime and make change. Chad Hansen has solid all-around game, very fluid athlete that was able to put together an impressive season at Cal, and KD Cannon's speed sounds like his last name. He's an explosive deep threat whose game reminds me a lot of Mike Wallace. Malachi Dupree of LSU should be a much better better pro than Collegian because of the consistency he'll get at quarterback. Dupree has tremendous athleticism and great leaping ability to win those 50-50 balls. Sheldon Gibson of West Virginia is an explosive self-starter. He can play well at all three levels of the field and two small college guys and Gary Brown of California PA and Chris Sean Hogan of Marion. And Brown has some golden tape in his game while Hogan plays more like Matt Hazel. Both Brown and Hogan are also versatile enough to play all three wide receiver positions. Gabe Marks of Washington State was an impressive pro prospect to watch both live and on film. He was one of the standouts this year at the East-West Shrine game and what stood out to me the most both on film and in person was his flawless route runner. You could tell he was well coached out there in Pullman, Washington. Marks was the go-to guy in the Cougars offense and you can understand why his route running got him open quickly and often. Marks does a great job of maintaining speed within his route and doesn't take too many steps to break down or get in and out of a cut. And when you're able to run a hitch or a curl with the same level of burst and explosiveness as you would a takeoff route, you're going to be very tough to cover one-on-one. -on -one. He also shows good savvy to win against zone coverage as well, so to me, he's a Jerome Payton clone that'll be a very good pro. Rounding out our flanker rankings with 11 through 20, Juju Smith-Schuster out of USC is a solid receiver that has some Michael Floyd in his game. He has to find that level of consistency as he moves forward. Jameer Tillman of Navy and Drew Morgan of Arkansas are productive value guys that, in my opinion, are being vastly underrated. Now, the consistency is the biggest question you have with guys like Amba Etatawo out of Syracuse and Travis Rudolph of Florida State, especially at the catch point. Both guys have to work harder to get stronger in that regard. And keep an eye on Blair Roberts of Duquesne and Keelan Cole of Kentucky Wesling. 
Roberts has the toughness to make plays over the middle of the field, while Cole is a two-time football game plan All-American that brings additional value as a retirement. Braylon Harrison came onto our radar late in this process. He was a standout at the NFL Regional Combine in Washington, D.C. and made it and made me go back to the Morgan State film and check him out. And I'm a fan of what he brings to the table after the catch. He's an above average athlete that has good hand-eye coordination and his route running, I think, can use some refining, but there's no doubt in the ability of the six foot, 190 pound wideout for Morgan State. So that's a wrap for our 2017 FBGP Scouting Draft Prospect Preview presented by Crossover. To see more of our individual scouting reports, follow us on Twitter at FBGP Scouting and bookmark the page footballgameplan.com slash FBGP Scouting. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan where you can get all of our scouting videos, mock drafts, pro day videos and interviews with NFL draft prospects. And one more thing, subscribe to us on iTunes under football game plan podcast.